Hey there, Anna Maria Helt here, herbalist and microbiologist with Osada Natural Health. Welcome to Monday's Mushroom episode 19, where I'm going to talk about Amanita vaginata, or at least what we call that here in North America. So here's a textbook version, a textbook specimen of this beautiful mushroom. Uh, this one was in the San Juan range north of Durango. Just saw it this past weekend and decided to do a quick video on it. So Amanita vaginata, in reality, what is being called this in North America may well be a different species in this so-called grisette group of Amanitas. So grisette, uh, is in reference to the lovely gray coloration of many of these species, although they do come in different colors. What we have here um, in North America that is being called Amanita vaginata will range from a grayish color like this to a brownish color, although this one here, which was in La Plata Canyon, also in the San Juan range, uh, is a bit older. You can see that the cap is drying out a little bit. It's getting a little wrinkly. It's starting to crack. And so that's possibly why it's a bit lighter in color, but they do range from a grayish to a brownish color. There are other Amanitas in the so-called grisette group of species that can vary quite widely in color from orangish to brownish. Uh, but we have what we have here is gray brown. So um, coming back to the classification of this, what was initially named Amanita vaginata uh, was named in Europe, as I said. And what happened is when the colonizers came here to North America, they just named everything here that looked like their species back home after their species back home. And as we're seeing in the world of mushrooms, this is turning out not to be correct. As genetic and other analyses are being done, we're finding that we have not surprisingly distinct species here in North America, related but distinct. And I'm going through this rigmarole because in some guidebooks you will see Amanita vaginata listed as edible, but because we have no idea what the hell the species are here in North America and whether they are in fact that species in a strict sense, we don't really know the edibility of many of these. So I strongly recommend against sticking them in your mouth because we don't know. Uh, not to risk, not worth taking. So uh, the grisette, these are called grisettes, as I said. They're very distinctive looking mushrooms. You can already tell looking at the cap, like, wow, that's a very noticeable mushroom. So the caps are gonna be strongly striated, uh, even more so around the margins. Uh, that's these, these stripes you see, and you even see that pretty clearly on this one here. And those striations are actually because of the gills that underlie the cap. Now, uh, coming back one more thing before I forget <laughs> on the classification, if you go to mushroomexpert.com, there's a good discussion of the confusion about classification here by mycologist Michael Quo. Uh, and it, with respect to labeling the many gray grisettes in North America, Amanita vaginata, what he says is, uh, you might as well call a mushroom that meets this description Steve if you want to be scientific. And he's making the point that it's a completely random designation. Um, of the species in North America. But anyway, coming back to the appearance of this really lovely parasol looking mushroom, uh, one of the other features about it is that it lacks a ring. So those of you familiar with Amanitas are used to thinking about that annular ring around the stalk that is a remnant of the veil that surrounds the embryonic mushroom as it's just starting to develop. So there's no ring on this, you know, this so-called species, whether this is Amanita vaginata or, you know, whatever species of grisette this is, they lack rings. But more characteristic of many Amanita species, this one does have a cup at the bottom, a vulva at the bottom of the mushroom. So you're seeing that just peeking up out of the dirt here. Always good to gently dig down in the dirt when you're doing mushroom identification to see what the base of the stalk looks like. So like the ring on the stalk of many different Amanita species, this this cup, this vulva at the base, is a remnant of the universal veil that the embryonic mushroom starts to develop in. Now, uh, like many species of Amanitas, the gills beneath the cap are white, or uh, otherwise very light colored here. 
You will sometimes see short gills in Amanita vaginata or whatever the heck this mushroom is. So if you look at the bottom of the picture here, you can see a couple little baby gills there. Uh, so really a beautiful, beautiful mushroom that, that is plentiful around North America, but it may well be that the grisettes we are seeing like I keep saying, are actually multiple different species that await characterization on the genetic level, on the biochemical level. And so anyway, I just thought I'd do a quick little blurb on this beautiful mushroom that you may encounter as you're walking through the woods. Um, possibly <laughs> Amanita vaginata, more likely a related sister species in the grisette group.